hi guys welcome back to my channel it's debbie in the building as always so guys in today's video i'll be confessing my sins in this video i'll be unfailing secrets i alone know about even my mom my husband my friends nobody knows about these secrets i'm going to unveil today anyway not all of them some of them anyways are secrets that i alone know you know but Today is my birthday and reflecting on my life, you know, and um, reflecting on my childhood, growing up and all that, everything I did, I decided, I've decided to come and confess my sins in the public of Igwe Mad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to confess my sins in the public of Igwe Mad. Oh my God. So guys, if you want to hear the terrible things I did while growing up, Hey, I can't believe I did all those things, honestly. Guys, do you guys really want to hear what I did? Oh my God. God have mercy. Then keep watching and wait till the end to hear the terrible things I did growing up. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. First thing. I'll be unveiling today is I used to suck my thumb. Oh yes, this particular thumb. Until now, these two thumbs are not the same. I don't know if you guys can notice it. So if you are a thumb sucker like me, let me know at the comment section. So I used to suck my thumb and I sucked my thumb till I was in junior secondary. Yeah, I was in JS2 when I finally stopped sucking my tongue. You can imagine. And I can remember then, anytime I'm sucking my tongue, I'll be pressing my mom's breast. I'll just, one hand will be in my mouth and the other hand will be on my mom's breast, pressing my mom's breast. That's why I find it very difficult to leave my mom. I'm always around my mom. To the extent they call me Otonaka. Otonaka means mommy's handbag yeah so guys <laughs> you will not believe the next thing i did growing up oh my god this is so alarming i can't believe i actually did this i can't so the second thing i did while growing up is bedwetting I used to urinate on the bed. I used to wee. -wee. I used to wee, wee on the bed. Hmm. Hmm. I used to wee, -wee on the bed. <laughs> and I did that till around um let me say I actually stopped bedwetting uh when I was eight. Hmm? But I did not really stop fully. I didn't stop fully. What I usually do then was I bedwet once in a while and there's nothing uh, my mom didn't do for me to stop it though. Mm. She actually tried her best. But sometimes in my gym I'll just be playing with my pairs, you know, and I will see myself being pressed and going to be with by the time I start um urinating in the toilet. I will notice that I was not actually urinating in the toilet. Rather, I was urinating on the bed. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was urinating on the bed. So, guys, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh my God, I'm shy right now. I'm feeling so shy talking about this now. <laughs> oh, so guys, the most... Um, terrible part of this my bedwetting is one day I went for holidays because back then I usually go for holidays once we're on break you know especially during long vac so that time I was I was around nine years old I just finished my common entrance and I was to enter JS1 by September so I went for holidays you know during the long vac and 
where I went to, I was not the only kid that came for holidays. We are like um, three to four kids there that also came to the same house. That's my auntie's house, anyways, that came for holiday. So, guys, at night, though, I was busy dreaming as usual. I was busy urinating in the toilet in my dream, not knowing that I was urinating on the bed. When I woke up, I was so scared. So what I did, I quickly changed my clothes and then, lucky enough, I was not the only one sleeping on the bed. I quickly shift the other child that is sleeping with me. You know, I shift her to the urine and the next morning I claimed I'm not the one that actually urinated. And she got punished for that. Um, I also helped her in the punishment because my conscience would not let me rest. Because I actually know I was the one that urinated on the bed. So I actually helped her in washing the bed sheets and taking the foam outside. You know, I just helped her in the punishment. Guys, this thing I'm saying, nobody know, knows about it. Just me. Nobody, none of my friends, my family, my husband, nobody. And look at me, I'm here confessing in the public of agreement. This is the terrible thing I did. Can you imagine that, guys? This is a terrible thing your girl did growing up. Hmm. Too bad. I ask for forgiveness, so upon anyone I I offended out of ignorance, please forgive me. <laughs> Anybody, anyone that knows me, I offended in the past. If you come across this video, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I did all those things out of ignorance. Now I'm matured enough. I've grown. I've acknowledged my sins. I've acknowledged my mistakes. I'm truly sorry. I'm truly sorry so i'm also using this video to apologize to everyone i offended if you come across this video please i'm truly sorry okay forgive me everything i did was out of ignorance please forgive me so guys we'll be right back after the break stay tuned we have more mind-blowing things mm -hmm. Hello all beautiful right, girl, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are safe. I hope you all are doing great. Guys, welcome to my channel. This is Debbie Tom channel and my name is Debbie Tom, your host. You can find that on this channel. Oh yes, guys, I am on a journey, a journey of no return, a journey of 4,000 miles. Yes, and in this journey, I need your help. Oh yes, I need your help, guys. The only way you can help me on this journey is to share my videos, watch my videos, or you can also run my playlist for me oh yes so that we can take this channel to a permanent site yes i'll be glad if you can do this for me today is my birthday oh yes today is my birthday so what i ask is for you to share this very video or share any of my videos you know you can go to my channel and share any of my videos glad if you can help me out in your own little way or as well if you have friends family relatives that can you can as well share my links to them for them to watch my video and support me and help and get this ministry to the permanent side. Thank you, my lovely people, because I know that you all will support me on this journey. Thank you. Stay tuned. And you are just seeing this face for the first time. If you are just coming across my channel for the first time, you are highly welcome. Stay tuned. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and also like this video. So that anytime I upload new videos, you'll be the very first person with notification that I have uploaded a video. We do amazing things here. Here, not afford to miss any of my videos. This family needs you. Oh yes, we need you here. We need you here. So, all right, all right, family. all right. Okay, Bye. see you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the next thing I did growing up. Mm. Guys, I fight a lot. Mm. And one thing <laughs> then is I don't like exchanging words. Mm -mm. You get got no time to exchange words. I don't have time to, you know, battle words with people, you know. 
because i have um will i say a mindset oh. for me to i just believed then in my mind that the only way to solve any problem is um by fighting you know yeah that is just will i call it a mindset or what i don't really know what it is but i just have this um <laughs> this odd to always um fight but then be rest assured that i will not be the first person to look for your trouble mm -mm. even then anytime my mom hears that i fought my mom will be like i know she's not the one that looked for your trouble you must be the one that looked for her trouble but once you look for my trouble i will not let you go i don't let go letting go is not in my dictionary mm -mm. I'll make sure I don't look for your trouble. Then I'm wanting that I don't like at all is you coming in front of me to, you know, battle words with me, you know, because I'm not um, a good talker. I'm not a fast, fast talker. Yeah. Then growing up, I don't really like because I'm very shy. I always shy away, you know. So once people come in front of me to, you know, you know, as a child now, you, your mates, your Mates will just come and be, you know, insulting me and all that. Because, I've, because I don't know how to insult them back, I always get physical with them. Yeah, that is that. So let's move over to <laughs> the next one. Oh my God, this one, eh? It's going to be hot, hot, hot. So guys, growing up as a child, we used to live in a general yard. That's a public yard. So in this in this our compound we have um a little garden at our backyard and that garden that is where um, my mom planted um uh, scent leaf ogo leaf that's vegetables pepper you know so sometimes if, if we are cooking my mom will be like ah we'll come go to the garden and plug me and plug um some Sense leaf or pluck some pepper, you know, and this is our garden. Our neighbor's window is behind um the garden, the little garden, you know. And they're my brothers and sisters, my brethren. That is how, as an innocent child, I went to that day. I went to pluck pepper, is it pepper, either pepper or scent leaf. And the this our neighbor is a she's a lady, she's walking, she's walking in. A university that is close to where we are living because we live in um, a school area there are so many um, high institutions universities polytechnics around us so this auntie she's working and she's living alone so she had a visitor that came to visit her and they were <laughs> saying okay mm -hmm. what happened is this as I was going to plug a scent leaf I can't remember what I was going to plug my mom because she was in the kitchen cooking and asked me to go to the garden to plug the pepper and the scent leaf. So as I was passing, this our neighbor's window was open and she was dancing skeleton with the brother that visited her, you know, and left the window open. And as a curious child, I heard the sound and I started peeping. Yeah, I started peeping. I saw what was happening. So I, my, as I was peeping, my mom screamed my name. You know that kind of thing. Oh no, Chuku! That's what my mom usually call me. Yeah. So I quickly left there and then brought the thing and then went back to give my mom the pepper. Either pepper or scent leaf. You know, I didn't tell my mom, but there is this my cousin that is living with us then. That is just um, staying with us, you know. I told him. <laughs> so I was like, that auntie, I called the auntie's name. Let me not mention her name in my video. <laughs> so I called her. I was not telling him that, see you, see what I saw. That auntie's leg is up. One leg is up and one leg is down. So I, from that day, I started, started calling her, the, the, that our neighbor. I started calling her until one leg up, one leg down. So if I want to, <laughs> if, <laughs> if I want to describe her to my, not my cousin that's staying with us, my 
cousin that is staying with us and some of the some of our neighbor's children you know it's a public yard we have so many kids there so i told everybody now and we decided because that's a, that's my cousin that is staying with us is big enough she, he was in secondary school then so he knows what was going on so he now called all of us called all the kids and we now went there we now went back there and started peeping so from that day what we usually do is once we see that brother hmm, once we see that brother coming inside the compound and we know that yes the brother is going to visit the auntie so they will do this killing we will just prepare ourselves we'll do everything we want to do you know and then get ready for them and we'll just queue at her window and start peeping this is terrible right this is what your girl did growing up <laughs> i told you guys it's confession time i'm here to confess my sins i'm now old I can't be holding these secrets. Guys, this thing I'm saying, nobody, only me, even my friends, my mom doesn't know, my husband, nobody knows about this. Only me. This is a secret I've been bottling up for ages. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. For years. And the fifth thing, the last but not the least, <laughs> is malice. Oh, yes. I keep malice to a fault and <laughs> my malice there eh, is something else i will keep malice with you and or at the same time make you frustrated you know i like singing all these um bitter songs i don't know how to describe beats in english language but in my language we call it a a a a something like that i don't know if i'm <laughs> saying it right if you are able i know you know what i'm saying please correct me if i'm not saying it right this bitter song you know um when you're quarreling with someone you just be singing all those songs that will make the person to be pained you know that kind of thing that is what i do i have grade one in that one <laughs> anytime i'm keeping my music too, i know we are not in good terms just be singing that my bitter songs and you know how to sing many of them oh yes I have to, I know how to say, one is, Only when they we wear, yeah, because we boy, yeah, say, let's say. Or say, cause we want be, yeah, because we boy, yeah, say. On on gam, they read, on you, oh, moon, ele, man, yam. On on gam, nasa, on you, oh, moon, ele, man, yam. Ile, cha, man, yam, when he gave me more. Ino, she, muzo, muna, galo, why, yeah, say, let's say. Oh, my God. Guys. These are the terrible things I did. Sorry if you don't understand it, but I don't know how to explain it. Hmm? Maybe look for someone that understands evil at the comment section to interpret this song to you. Just bear with me. Eh? I don't know how to start interpreting it because it's too long. You know, you know. Just look for someone at the comment section to help you interpret it. So, my beautiful people, these are the terrible things I did growing up so today marking plus one led me to just sit down and reflect on my life and reflect on all the things i did growing up i just laughed <laughs> so hard and i decided to come out here and confess my sins to you all dear mom if you come across this video this is what your daughter actually did and i'm sorry for that and of course you you know that i've grown past that now <laughs> oh yes <laughs> it's just a story to tell now that i've grown so this is time for prayer close your eyes guys let's pray dear lord have mercy upon me as i've confessed my sins today forgive me oh lord and cleanse me from all unrighteousness and cleanse me from these sins oh lord i did out of ignorance this i pray dear lord jesus in the mighty name of jesus 
Amen. Amen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Yeah, just use it as a birthday gift for me. Oh, yes. Today is my birthday. Yeah, I'm just going to give you. So, just share this my video as a birthday present. I don't need much from you, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Stay safe and take good care of yourself and see you all in my next video. Bye.